So, I'm making this video just to, to, to point something out. So, Alexa, what is the time and date? It's Friday, March 27th, 2020 at 9.08 p.m. Oh, yeah. So, it was like, what, like 8.41, 8.45 p.m., something like that. So, like, I was getting out of my vehicle. Um, I live in town in Corden. Um, and... This is on Walnut Street, um, East Walnut. I'm already in my driveway getting out of my vehicle. Um, and then um, <clears throat> there's these, um, there's this vehicle turning uh, left to get to go to like the blue apartments. And the, the, the dude behind them was like very impatient. I was driving some kind of SUV, maybe a little bit of an older one. I can't remember if it was a Jeep Cherokee or something else. Um, the shape of it. It, it, it was nighttime, by the way. And um, you can kind of see the silhouette of the vehicle because of the, uh, the, you know, the, the street lights and stuff. Um, <laughs> so that vehicle that was turning left to go to the blue apartments uh, was, uh, was just, yeah, it was turning there so they have to go slow. <clears throat> dude behind him in the SUV was very very impatient and uh, <laughs> also had an attitude problem uh, I'm going to say uh, attitude problem <clears throat> because he's revving his engine really really hard and loud by the way the vehicle sounded like crap you know I mean it's the same kind of you know, thing going on where uh, these people get these little rice burners and then they they want to they want to soup it up by <laughs> sawing off the muffler. Makes it sound like crap, of course. Um, and they might invest in some rims, and it's just really cringeworthy. Uh, so anyway, this dude was like that, and. Um, you know, one of these people that, that, you know, had just recently discovered LED lighting for their vehicle. And I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, where you been? I got into LEDs at least by 2002. Uh, so anyway, <clears throat> this dude in the SUV behind the, um, behind the, um, oh, um, the person turned off uh, to go to the um, blue apartments. I'm gonna I'm gonna reenact because they were right up on that that person's bumper, all right. So the person in the SUV that's got the attitude problem is right up on the person's bumper who was uh, turning left to go to the blue apartments. And uh, here's here's what I saw. Okay, here's what I saw uh, from my driveway. Um, and and then here's what it sounded like. <sighs> That's exactly how it sounded. And there was like this this yellow orange flash from underneath the front of the vehicle when this happened. And then all of a sudden the vehicle just really started slowing down um as they try to go up that little hill and um on uh, on East Walnut uh in Corden. And um <laughs> and then he starts <laughs> Like, I thought he blew his engine, um, until I still heard his engine running, um, like, I don't know, 10 seconds later, and, um, I think he messed up his transmission, or he, he messed up something. Something caused that, um, that, um, well, maybe, well, something caused that, that yellow orange flash that I seen underneath the vehicle who knows maybe over pressure and just blew the uh, who knows maybe blew the oil filter or something like that and but anyway he messed up his vehicle and um and then starts to like let gravity back his vehicle like toward my neighbor's yard um and, and um Anyway, and then so one of the other neighbors came by and like, hey, buddy, are you okay? That's what he said to him. I'm thinking, uh, you might want to go check on the vehicle first because that's the one that looks like it's got some damage. Um, 
you know, and um, and then the 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 dude that was driving the vehicle that messed up his vehicle, he's like really, he's like young, probably in his twenties, early to mid twenties, uh, just showing off, you know, and just just revving his engine, showing off, got an attitude, um, you know, and uh, and uh, but then the older neighbor like checks up on the young dude that that messed up his vehicle, that messed up his own vehicle. He's like, hey, buddy, uh, are you okay? Um, and cause it, cause it sounded like a big shotgun blast and all that. And then, then the young dude that was driving the vehicle, oh my gosh, his whole portrayal of it was so wrong. He's like, he's like, yeah, I was just, I was just driving, and then just all of a sudden happened. I'm like, yeah, dude, you didn't happen to tell um, the people that like you revved your engine because everybody heard it. I mean, it's like nearly rattled the house and stuff and uh, i mean the, the dude the young dude that messed up his own vehicle is trying to save face and of course he's lying um because he's embarrassed and then a few minutes later the police showed up and i'm getting groceries out of my vehicle at this point um the police just look at me because i come out in the door of my vehicle so they're just looking to see what's going on and uh <clears throat> so anyway uh, the police park, like, right there in my yard, um, driveway yard area, and, um, and they're talking to that young dude, and, you know, and he's like, oh, I'm sorry, officer, it's just the, I was just driving, and the, and then the vehicle just did that, I have no idea how that happened, of course, I was there out in my driveway listening to what all was happening, and, like, yeah, the, the young dude just, just really, really neglected, let's say he had omitted that information that caused it um yeah and um <laughs> i mean the police weren't there for very long it was the cordon police and then the the older neighbor was telling the the police that you know what it sounded like a shotgun whenever that vehicle made that sound and i, I was just waiting for the police to come up and ask me what, what was going on because clearly i was a witness i was like out there in my yard in my driveway I was just waiting for the police to ask me what's going on, because I, I was just waiting to tell, like, the police what actually happened. Like I said, here's a reenactment. They're coming up the hill. The, the one vehicle is, like, turning left to go to the Blue Apartments, you know, uh, Blue Apartment Complex, uh, Cordon Capital um, Apartments. If they still call it that. But anyway, and nobody pays attention. Everybody calls it the blue apartments because that's what color they are. So anyway, uh, the one person turns left to go to those apartments. And the, the young dude behind in the SUV revs the engine. And, um, and then here's exactly what I saw and what it sounded like. Boom! I mean, it just, he messed that thing up. He just lied to everybody about it it's like acts like the vehicle just you know it's you know it's like you know when like the like a little kid is like playing with something they shouldn't be playing with and then they break it you know it's like not theirs it's it's not even a toy it's like they broke somebody's belonging and then all of a sudden they just instantly just stop playing with it and just go set it down somewhere and walk away that's what this dude tried to do oh my gosh he's tried to he, he really tried to save himself some embarrassment and he, he like definitely omitted uh, some some very important details in uh in what happened I mean, poor dude messed up his vehicle because he's showing off and he's got an attitude problem so i don't know what to tell you dude i mean you know you play stupid games win stupid prizes i mean yeah accidents happen and there's unfortunate things and then just a lot of that's preventable but dude you you brought this on yourself i mean you didn't have to go sh like ride that person's bumper and like show off and rev your engine i mean who knows i mean like i don't know if it's automatic transmission or manual but like I think the person, like, put the vehicle in neutral and just revved that engine so loud until something went wrong with it. And at first, I thought the engine blew um, because that RPM dropped down all of a sudden. 
and like I seen like a, a yellow orange flash underneath the, the the front of the vehicle. Um, but yeah, dudes messed up his vehicle during the coronavirus apocalypse, and um, because he's got an attitude problem. So uh, let that be a lesson to you, uh, you other people out there in society. You know, problems don't have to happen. I mean, you know, you if if. I don't know, dude. Maybe you're going to have to learn, but hopefully you don't drag other people down in the process, right? <laughs>